How does a monochromator work? A monochromator is an optical instrument which measures the light spectrum. Light is focused in the input slit and diffracted by a grating. In this way, only one colour is transmitted through the output slit at a given time. Spectra are then recorded wavelength by wavelength, rotating the grating. The presence of the two slits and the sequential recording of the light reduced the throughput and increased the measurement time considerably. Furthermore, gratings have limited efficiency and narrow spectral bandwidth, so you often need to use two different gratings and then stitch together two separate measurements to record the spectrum of polychromatic light. The procedure is again time consuming and the result often discontinuous. When high spectral resolution is needed to resolve sharp features such as this narrow peak, using a monochromator, one has to either use a grating with higher dispersion or to close the output slit. In both cases, the light throughput is reduced considerably and the measurement becomes very long. However, there is a better way to measure the spectrum. Use a Gemini interferometer from Nereos. This is its working principle. The spectrum of the light at the input of the device is measured using a different approach, based on Fourier transform spectroscopy. In fact, Gemini is an interferometer that creates two replicas of the light with a finely tunable delay. In this way, the light throughput is much higher than the monochromator because the output spectrum is not filtered and there are no input or output slits. Furthermore, Gemini has no gratings, thus providing extremely broad spectral coverage from the ultraviolet to the mid-infrared spectral region. The light intensity at the detector, as the function of the delay, is called interferogram. It is sufficient to compute a Fourier transform of the interferogram to receive the spectrum of the light. In this animation, the Gemini is first set to zero, and then it slowly increases the delay between the two replicas, thus building the interferogram step by step. The measurement is performed until there are no appreciable residual oscillations in the interferogram. In this example, this corresponds to a maximum delay of 300 femtoseconds. At this point, the retrieved spectrum perfectly matches the input spectrum. Let us now consider a spectrum containing sharp peaks, thus requiring higher resolution. With a monochromator, you should close the output slit or use a diffraction grating with higher dispersion. This would in turn reduce the amount of light on the detector. On the other hand, with the Gemini, it's sufficient to increase the maximum delay of the scan, in this case up to one picosecond to increase the spectral resolution without any loss of throughput. Much better than a monochromator. Gemini interferometer from Nereos.